Hey guys, Chris, Nichols Retirement Empire, back on the trail. It's nice and overcast today. I hope I don't get any rain. Um, tomorrow in our school district is the first day of school. So this will be the first time since 1972 that I have not had a first day of school. I remember my first day uh, in elementary school, they took us and we had like a little auditorium, you know, so all the parents and all the first graders were in the auditorium and uh, they had all the teachers lined up on the stage and they would call your name out, you know, and then you would go with the teacher and then the teacher would take you to the classroom. So I remember, uh, you know, my mama asked me, she goes, do you want uh, one of the older ladies or do you want a young teacher? And I said, I want one of the older ladies. She said, why? I said, because they'd be a lot nicer than the young ones. And uh, <laughs> I was right. Man, I don't, <laughs> that lady that I got my first year, first grade, whoo, she did not like me. She didn't like me. You believe that? You know how many times I've heard kids tell me that? That teacher don't like me. Well, that's how I felt in first grade. I felt like she didn't like me. And I felt it on my rear end a few times too. <laughs> first day of my teaching, you know, ever, ever teaching was at a middle school. So I go into class and, you know, I'm just waiting on them. You know, I know they're going to be messing with me because I'm a new teacher and, and they're going to think they can get by with stuff and, and, and they're going to try me, you know, and I, I'm just waiting on it. You know, I got a college degree. I'm smart. I know, you know, I'm going to, I'm not going to let these kids, you know, so I go in there, I'm all defensive and, uh, I'm calling roll and, uh, I come across this one name. It's a girl's name, you know, like Rebecca, something like that. And I go, Rebecca, <laughs> this kid is here. And I look at him and I'm like, it's not a girl. You know, so I had to call the name again, Rebecca. I need Rebecca to, you know, say here, it's, it's Re Rebecca here, you know, and the, the kid said it again, here. And I looked at him, cause I mean, their hair looked like a boy's hair. Face looked like a boy's face. Clothes looked like a boy's clothes. You know, now in middle school, that's the way it is, man. You got kids that have beards and you got kids that are playing with dolls you know they're <laughs> you got sixth grade to eighth grade they look all kind of ways you know well i'm a new teacher i don't i'm not i don't know anything about middle school you know so i'm like i look at them and i said listen i'm not stupid rebecca is a girl's name you know like you're not gonna pull this over on me and the girl sitting beside her goes she is a girl silly and just started laughing <laughs> And all the other kids were going, yeah, uh, yeah, Coach Nichols, she's, she's a girl, you know. And I was like, oh, <laughs> just made an idiot out of myself the first day there. So you never know what's going to happen on the first day. It's always exciting. Yeah, man, you want to talk about feeling bad. Man, I felt so bad. I was apologizing. I went from being I'm so smart to I'm so sorry so fast. I was apologizing to everybody. The first high school I went to. The first day, I, I went in there first day and uh, this class starts and kids are coming in and this girl come in there and she was a big, big girl. I mean, really big. And, you know, she was really outgoing, really loud, you know like to have a good time uh but anyway I'll, I'll i'll say her name is cheryl how about that cheryl so cheryl comes in first day and she comes walking up there and she walks up to my desk didn't go to one of the kids desk walked up to my desk pulled a chair up to the front of my desk took her arms and just moved off Moved all this stuff out of the way. Shoved it out of the way. I said, Coach Nicholson, I'm going to have to sit right here. Because I can't sit in the little desk. <laughs> and I was like, okay, Cheryl. You go ahead. You sit right there. And that's where she sat the rest of the time. Uh, 
but I will never forget that old girl coming in there and moving all my stuff off my desk. Uh, and she didn't even have nothing to sit down. It wasn't like she had a bunch of books or a backpack or something. I guess she just needed all that space. But I tell you why she wanted all that space. So she could put her head down and try to go to sleep. Me and her had a little contest about her trying to go to sleep. But anyway, um, <laughs> she just moved everything out of the way. Coach Nicholson. She called me Coach Nicholson. But uh, <laughs> she was something else now. She... Um, the boys all knew her that she would fight she would fight the boys she'd fight anybody and you'd think man if she's so big how could she how could she fight that girl could take and I saw her do it she could stand up hold her hand out in the air like that hold her hand up in the air and take her foot and kick it. <laughs> Never in my life. I don't know how she could do that. Because she was big now. And man, the boys were scared to death of her. And the book on her was that as long as she didn't get hold of you, you know, you would be okay. Like you just needed to hit, not grab. No grabbing. And uh, <laughs> she got in two fights in my room and uh one of them and i mean she was right in my desk right in the front of my desk uh one one of them there was a boy and he would come up there he, he was coming up there i was checking his work or something and every time he would come up to my desk i should say our desk my desk and her desk but anytime he would come up to my desk she would say his name you know like if his name was billy she would go, Billy, hey, Billy. <laughs> and he would just, he just wanted to stay away from her so bad. He was scared to death of her. Uh, but anyway, he came up to my desk and I was checking his work. And I don't know what she did, what she grabbed hold of, or what it, whatever it was that happened. But the next thing I know, he turned around and I mean, he was right there in front of me. He turned around and he punched her punched her and then he ran out the door and then he ran down the hall and then he ran all the way down to the, hey bud. then he ran all the way down to the principal's office and turned himself in <laughs> he just ran i mean he didn't even wait she didn't have time to get up to do anything to him he just ran I don't blame you she would have tore him up and then the same thing the next time she got in a fight they were walking out the door and i don't know what happened then either they're walking out the door next thing i know this boy punches her he took off running <laughs> he ran down the hall and he ran to the principal's office <laughs> he just ran away so they believed that you didn't want cheryl to get hold of you of course the longer i talked the better I got at first days, you know, and by the time, you know, by the time I came an administrator, man, I had that routine down. First day, whew, I mean, that's how you set, that's how you get control of your class is the first day. The kids decide, man, they measure you up at about 10 seconds, <laughs> how they're going to act in your class. And, uh, man, you better get them. From the first time they walk in that classroom, you better have, you better be organized. You better make them think you care about them. You better make them think you're in charge. And you better make them think you're an expert at what you're doing. And, you know, you do all that, you're going to start the day off right. And you're going to start the year off right. That's what happens with a lot of younger teachers. They don't understand that, you know, they think, well, I got all this stuff to do. And, the first day we really can't get anything done anyway so i'm just gonna you know let them sit where they want and, and i'm just gonna you know kind of tell them what we're gonna do and the rules and you know then we'll just kind of sit around you know uh, yeah if they think they're gonna sit around and talk they plan on sitting around and talking the rest of the year <laughs> so this is the way i used to look at it it's like a ship a big ship once it gets going one direction 
it's a big deal to turn it around. <laughs> you can't turn it around. Once it gets going, you can't just turn around a big ship. So you better get that big ship going the right direction. The very first day, the very first thing you do in the first 20 seconds, something better be happening. It shows you know what you're doing because man, they will size you up real quick.